to show that the entire European Union will put its strength and support behind member states under extreme pressure. In the College, earlier this morning, we decided to adopt an action plan of support for Greece, which we will be putting to the extraordinary meeting of the, uh, just the Home Affairs Ministers that is taking place later this afternoon. I take this opportunity to uh, thank publicly the Croatian Presidency for responding positively to my request to call for such a meeting. This specific action plan of support for Greece has six points. First, as we speak, the European Border and Coast Guard is mobilizing assets from our member states to be deployed into rapid border intervention operations at land and at sea. 100 border guards, in addition to the uh, current 530 border guards, will be deployed by Frontex in Greece, both on the land and the sea border. Frontex is also preparing the deployment of one offshore patrol vessel and six coastal patrol vessels, two helicopters, one aircraft, and three thermal vision vehicles. Two, we are also asking our European Border and Coast Guard to coordinate a new return program for the quick return of persons without the right to stay to countries of origin from Greece, making use of Frontex's new mandate on returns. Three, we are mobilizing financial assistance of 350 million euros, which is immediately available to support border and migration management in Greece, in particular to support increased reception capacity, voluntary returns, and all the infrastructure needed to carry out screening procedures for health and security. The Commission will, in addition, propose an amending budget to make available a further 350 million euros. Overall, 700 million euros. Fourth, on Greece's request, we launched the civil protection mechanism. Through this facility, Greece can receive assistance in terms of medical equipment, medical teams, shelters, tents, blankets, and other equipment needed. Fifth, we have asked the European Asylum Support Office, EASO, to accelerate the deployment of an additional uh, number of around 160 case workers in Greece to support the processing of asylum applications. And finally, we believe that it is important to further strengthen regional and operational cooperation with our partners in the lights of this extraordinary situation. We therefore need to further develop a coordination mechanism with the Western Balkan countries. Status agreements should also rapidly be concluded and fully implemented between the Western Balkans and the European Border and Coast Guard. We can never allow the dramatic scenes of 2015 and 2016 to repeat themselves. As we have shown yesterday, when Europe is tested, we are able to prove that we can hold the line and that our unity will prevail. And I expect this resounding message also to come out of the Justice and Home Affairs Council tonight as well. Furthermore, as the President said yesterday in Evros, Turkey is not an enemy, but people are not weapons either. <laughs>